Happy New Year, everybody. Now, this is our New Year conversation as we brought in the New Year with prayer and spiritual warfare. We also had discussion during the break time. So I want you to hear some of the snippets of what we discussed. It got so rich. This is Davina. You will see me as well. And Andrea. Rashad fell asleep once again. <laughs> so I just want you to know one thing. When the screen goes black, that's when Andrea has the floor because she did she chose not to dis, uh, not to enable her camera. So, her webcam. So I just want you to understand that's not a malfunction. That's the screen protecting her privacy. All right. Now listen to this juicy conversation. Um, the power of our priorities and perspective. Because we don't prior like I know it's every day we get up for our jobs or whatever we need to do, we get up and we may be tired, but people get up, they go to work because they have to, to survive. But we, you know, do we really get up to pray and read our Bible? Do, you know, like just to, all that time that we use for TV or cell phones or all these other things, like that just really, that video that the lady had posted just really, it just like stuck me in the heart, like, Man, count that how much time I count that as dying to yourself. I count that as dying yes. to yourself. You know, you might oh want my. to watch TV. Wait, say that again, Andrea. Could you repeat that? Because I missed it. I speak now, before they go any further, what Andrea said is, I count that as dying to yourself. Getting up in the morning, setting aside time for God, for reading his word, filling your spirit for communing with him in prayer and worship. Now, I want to say this real quick. A lot of us are, are not that disciplined, but there still needs to be a time, whether it's in the morning or late at night or late in the morning, whatever. There has to be time set aside away from your family and everything where you make time for God. If you can make quality time for your kids and your husband and your job, you can make quality time with God. Now, I'm going to continue playing. And remember, when the screen goes black, that's Andrea talking. I count, uh, you know, sacrifices maybe in your social life, your television, your, you know, we, we like to do a lot of things for things that we like, but when it comes to reading our Bible, yada, 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 we think that uh, we can just check that off because we went to church on Sunday. <laughs> and so I count, I count uh, spending more time with God as dying to yourself because... There are, you know, uh, other things that we'd rather do. I actually, uh, I had a, I had a really bad dry spell, like two. I had a, I had a top two months uh, in uh, November and October. Got really bad there for a second. Yeah, uh, they you know, I, I, I uh, prayed about it a bunch and stuff like that, and and I had one of my YouTubers do an awesome video it was exactly what I needed to hear but it was basically called Are You Quenching the Holy Spirit Whoa. and yeah it was good it was heavy he, he hadn't done one like that in a while and I was like oh snap it was exactly what I needed but he's just like you know the, the devil likes to make reading a Bible especially from 2000 years ago to be the most boring thing in the world. We'd rather have our explosions in our movies, the sex, the drugs, the party, the flashy lights, right. the face drop. Everything is in your face and, and it appeals to the flesh. So, so, so. And what it does is it makes the Bible look really boring. Like just in general, like if you put a piece of cake up next to a freaking lollipop, which one looks more appealing? I mean, it just... You know what I'm saying? It's like we quench the Holy Spirit with this stuff that we can do. But it's just like, I bet if you start to take these stuff out, this entertainment, uh, this one pat, this is just, this is 
But one pastor said, everyone's going to entertain themselves to death. And that uh, entertainment is uh, the devil's counterfeit joy. Mm. And you know, back to what I was saying is that you can get real joy from the Bible, but it's, it's sometimes not very entertaining. But you can't get joy from television. I mean, it, it's funny and yada, yada, yada. But once you turn it off, that feeling is gone and it is not going to help you live your life. Yeah.